In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up cPanel and WHM on your server. The cPanel and WHM software package is an easy to use control panel that gives web hosts the ability to quickly and easily manage the servers and websites. In essence, cPanel is a graphical web based control panel that helps you quickly and easily manage your website and hosting account. You can use cPanel to host just a few websites or even up to a few thousand websites on one single server. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install cPanel and WHM on the server. First of all there are some system requirements that you need to make sure of. You do need a minimum of a 266 MHz processor, 512 MB RAM and 10 GB hard disk. If you're using virtualization in your environment, the most compatible software is KVM, L Linux vServer, Hyper-V, OpenVZ, VirtualBox, VMware and Zen. At the moment they only support CentOS versions 5 and 6, Red Hat Linux versions 5 and 6 and Cloud Linux version 5 and 6. CentOS is a free OS that has community supplied updates and support whereas Red Hat is paid and has updates and support directly from Red Hat. Cloud Linux on the other hand is an operating system based on CentOS and unlike CentOS Cloud Linux modifies the kernel to contain spikes in usage. This modification enhances your server reliability. So to install this software you must first have access to your server. If you don't have physical access, for example if you're using a VPS server, you must connect to your server rem remotely using uh, SSH. You've got to make sure that you're running one of these OS's, CentOS, Red Hat or Cloud Linux. Have a valid cPanel license and then finally run the installation commands. Now to get a license you can head over here and they'll send you a trial license. The way that their licensing works is that they have a database full of IP addresses that are eligible to set up a trial and or not set up a trial. So this address here is what I'm going to use. It is blurred out but if you click on submit you'll see that this IP address is available to use. Once you've obviously used your trial period the cPanel server will report back to cPanel and update the database. So if it has previous license history, then it will not be eligible for another free trial. You must also be running a static external IP address for cPanel to work properly. If you want to buy cPanel, then you can buy it directly from cPanel themselves or through a distributor. And you can also get discounted licenses if you're installing it on several servers at once. So here I'm logged into my server that's running CentOS 6.4. And the first command we've got to do is to install Perl. Now what we type in is yum install perl and type y Once that's complete we need to type in cd home this changes your home directory. Once you are in this directory, you'll need to type in wget-n and http http update cpanel.net forward slash latest. And once that's done, we can type in sh latest. And this will run the cPanel installer. Here you can see some warnings that basically saying that you need to install it on a clean server, which is what we have done, so it carries on. So you've got to bear in mind that it will erase anything on your server. This process can take a long time depending on the speed of your VPS host or your physical server. In some cases it can take up to an hour. The next step is to update your license information. This can be done by typing the command forward slash USR, forward slash local, forward slash cPanel, forward slash cpkclt.
and that updates the license key. Next what you need to do is reboot the server. This can be done by typing shutdown dash r now and it'll say the system is going down for reboot now and if you're connected via SSH you'll lose connectivity. Once your server has rebooted you can get to the WHM configuration by typing in HTTPS your IP address on port 2087 and press enter and the WHM login will appear. To log in you need to type in root and your root password and login.